Hello everybody. If you are unable to pick up your packet for the koi fish kite, you would be getting something like this in there, but if you're unable to get it and you're unable to print it, I would like to show you how to draw it. So you are going to start with one piece of paper. You will need two and you will need a pair of scissors and something to draw with. I'm going to be drawing with a marker just so that you can see a little clearer, but you should always try to start with a pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top of the fish, not the mouth and not the fins. We're just going to start with its back. So start about here and you're going to curve a line. Notice I'm going nice and slow and stop here. Our next step is going to be make some space for the lips and you can curve your line this way. Kind of looks like a happy face. Maybe this one is a sad face and a happy face. To make the lips, it's a bump and a bump. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to bump up, come back in and bump up and come back in. You can pause this video, rewind it, restart it at any time. I know that it might be a little tricky to get it right off the bat. Just a reminder, I've drawn this a few times. When we draw the tail, I'm going to curve in a little bit here. So I'm going to start here, curve in a little bit here. I'm going to do a little curve right here too. A little bit of a curve. Now let's get that tail on there. Come up all the way to the edge of the paper and start to come in and out and back in. You can make it your own way. This is just the way that I'm kind of drawing it for this project. I've drawn fish lots of different ways. To separate the face from the body, we're going to do a curved line right about here the line and now the fin at the top and at the bottom you don't need to put anything here because this is where we're going to be adding the scales so right about here I'm gonna come up and over come down do the same thing down here up and over and back down okay now once you have a fish that you like if you don't like it Now's the time to erase and redo it. You want to make sure that it's nice and big, going from this side of the paper to this side, and you know, as wide as you can make it, there's still some paper in the edge. That's okay. I'm going to cut this out and use this as my tracer. Now, why in the world would I need to use this as a tracer? Why couldn't I just draw another fish? The reason why is because we're going to be making a double-sided work of art. There's going to be one fish on one side and one fish on the other. So we want to make sure that they are the same. We want them to be the same shape so they fit together like a good sandwich. Uh-oh, now I want a sandwich. I like peanut butter and jelly. So if you've ever made a peanut butter and jelly or maybe you've watched someone at home make a sandwich, you know that those two pieces of bread fit together so nicely. That's because they're the same shape. Just like our little fishies are going to be the same shape. Okay, almost done. Boop. Now, let's get our next piece of paper. Okay, here we go. I am going to, are you ready? I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trace that way. I know it might seem a little silly, but I promise that's the way to do it. Flip it over, ooh, see? Because if you go out of the line, you just draw right on the back and not on the front of your fish. And it will line it up really nicely. 
Now, I can see through mine because I'm drawing it with a marker, but if you can't see the line through your paper, you can kind of bend your fish up and go, okay, that's where I made the little mark for my line on my face right here. And then you can curve it back like this. Just they're kind of in the same spot. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. And I'm going to connect this line over to this line and do the same thing here. This line over to this line. And when you cut it out, you will see that you have two fish that stick together just right. So if you didn't have a chance to pick up your packet or uh, you don't have the ability to print at home, this is how to draw a fish. Or if you wanna just make, I don't know, 10 fish kites, here you go. Enjoy, stay creative.